Praise the Lord, everybody. So I have this hoodie on because my hair just looks crazy. It looks like I got a toupee on. So I'm not a devil worshiper. I'm not in the Illuminati. I know some of you only watch my videos just to try to find something to be negative about. I saw somebody said that I what I do, I do it by the power of the devil or something. And they claim to be a Christian, but can't realize that that's the same thing the Pharisees said about Jesus. You know, like you're doing the same exact thing. So I thought that was crazy. But anyways, I have some concerns about Kanye West, all right? One thing that people seem not to understand is that God can use people that are not saved to fulfill his purpose. Like I said from the very beginning, God is using Trump to reveal the heart of America. God is using Kanye to reveal the heart of the church, okay? God can use situations and things and people that are not saved to make things happen around us, to make things happen in the country. He did it all in the Bible. He would harden Pharaoh's heart. He would send the kings from other countries to uh, capture the Israelites, okay? So that's the first thing I wanna say. But my concern with Kanye West is that if he doesn't get the right discipleship, if he gets around these loosey-goosey preachers who are not gonna hold him accountable, who are not gonna disciple him in the word of God, then they're, you know, that we won't see the transformation that we need. Now, I'm not one to just, you know, bash him for little mistakes here and there because I know I didn't have it all together when I came to God. But the Bible says, you know, we come as you we come as you are, but you don't stay as you are. The Bible says people have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. So one of my big concerns is that, you know, if he just is attached to these loosey goosey preachers and nobody checks them. Every single one of us, we need accountability in our life. You know, I always tell you guys about the fivefold ministry pastors, evangelists, apostles, prophets, teachers. You need that in your life. You need somebody to check you because you have blind spots, areas that you might not see that other people can see. So, Kanye, you know, kind of being new to this thing, he needs that person who's going to pull him in, roll him in. And I'm praying. You know that he gets that i do understand that there's so many people that are just waiting you know for kanye west to mess up and to fall and they're actually going to rejoice you know if that happens rejoice in being right instead of praying for so and i think that's sad but that's the whole point god is revealing people's hearts and i've been saying that from the beginning he's revealing the ugliness that's in people's hearts and stuff like that um so, you know, I don't want Kanye West to go down that route where if he doesn't get discipled or if just religious Christians just run him away, you know, right into the hands of those loosey, uh, excuse me, loosey goosey preachers, you know, then you already see this brand of Christianity that I'm always talking about where just anything goes and anybody can be a Christian and you can just live however you want, you know what I'm saying, and be a Christian. So I believe that God allows everything to happen and there's learning experiences and everything. I tell you guys all the time that even if you look at my YouTube videos, a lot of times if you just pre uh, preach something about, you know, pray how to pray or the importance of spiritual warfare, people skip over it. But then if you put somebody that is a well-known name, then people click, even Christians, because that's what's in their heart. They're interested. Well, what is this person's talking about? I'm not I'm not interested in the spiritual warfare. You know, there's a few, there's a remnant. But oh, Kanye West name, let me click. Let me watch. Let me get the la latest scoop. Let me get the latest news. So I've always used that about, you know, human nature. And that's how I get even a lot of people who are not even saved, who are not even Christian to click on the video and they will watch it. And then they say, oh man, you know, I turn it around into a message and then I back it up with Bible. And the Lord told me one of the parts of my ministry is always to challenge people's perspective because a lot of believers, they don't fast. They don't pray. They don't read on a, uh, the Bible on a regular basis. They only listen to other people and what they say. And what I always tell you guys on this page, study for yourself. Search the Bible for yourself. Pray for yourself. Don't believe everything I say. Go study for yourself. All right. And one thing that I noticed, it's so frustrating about the Internet, but there's really nothing you can do about it. People will not listen to the whole context of what you're saying and then have the arrogance and nerve to pass a judgment on what you're saying. And that's one of the most uh, hardest things that I deal with is, you know, God will give you a revelation on something. And then you have the religious folks who don't believe, you know, that God is giving people visions and dreams, even though the Bible says this would happen in the last days in Joel chapter two. Uh, I mean, you have people who are upset because your doctrine doesn't agree with their doctrine. And so they come against everything that you say. They won't even listen to the context. They won't look at the fruit. They won't look at the how the Bible's back. They won't even study. It's just they listen to find something to disagree with and argue about. And it's just causing so much deception and division. 
And then, of course, you guys know I'm always talking about how everybody claims to be a, a, a prophet. Everybody claims to have a word from God. Everybody claims to have revelation and knowledge. And it's just so messy out here. So I really encourage you guys, you know, be careful. I've never told anybody to just, uh, you know, f follow and emulate Kanye West and everything that he's doing. I believe that, you know, the, the potential is there. Um, he can be forgiven of anything that he's done. But like everything else, there's so many people who claim to be Christians, but they're not getting properly discipled. They're not getting taught the word of God correctly. There's so many people who have been going to church for 20 years, 10 years, 15 years, and still don't know God. All they know is religion. All they know is, you know, what they feel or what they think about God, but they don't actually know God. And that's the problem. This is why the Bible says he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. I didn't know you. Yeah, you did a lot of stuff in my name, but but I didn't know you. And I don't want that to be the case for Kanye West, you know? And so just, if you don't remember nothing else I said in this video, just remember, you got to Man, see it on a deeper level. God is in control of everything. For some reason, people think that God can only use people who are saved or perfect. No, God can use anything. He can use presidents. He can use kings. He can use what looks like evil to accomplish his will. But people just don't seem to understand that and get that. So just some food for thought. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus name.